What's up guys, Call Sign Spade here, and today I want to go over an issue that a lot of people seem to have with the AUG, which is feeding problems. Now the problem with feeding, you know, it doesn't happen to everyone, but with a lot of the AUG guns, um, there seems to be feeding issues with it that a lot of people are experiencing. So today I'm going to go over how to fix that, and it's actually a, you know, a really simple fix. And the gun, the, the problem isn't with the gun at all, it's actually with the magazine. Um, the way that the magazine works inside the AUG is that you have this little nub here. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But as you can see, you've got this little tab right here that you can lift up and down that allows the BBs to come through here. Well, this little thing right here, um, when it's inserted inside the AUG, there's a tube that pushes down into the hole where the BBs come out of. And that's supposed to push that out of the way. But what happens sometimes is that that little nub is a little bit too short. Um, for whatever reason and when it's a bit too short it doesn't push that in all the way and your BBs cannot get through so the problem isn't with the gun but it's actually well it, it can be a problem with the gun but the way to fix that is by actually um, making a simple little modification to the magazine if you can call it a modification um, what we'll be doing is removing the little nub inside of here so this means if you have feeding issues with your AUG you cannot use mid cap magazines of any kind you have to have to use high cap magazines and the reason for this is because if you have any spare magazines inside your pouch um, if you remove this nub they're gonna fall all out on like a high cap magazine you can stick this in your pouch and when you're ready to use it you can wind it up which puts the BBs inside the chamber and um, yeah you won't have a mess of BBs everywhere so to say so you can only use high cap mags if your AUG is having this issue. If your AUG is not having this issue, you're fine to use whatever magazines you like. And unfortunately, a lot of mil sims don't allow um, high cap magazines. So if you're looking to do a mil sim game, I wouldn't suggest bringing an AUG. So I'm sorry to say. But let's get on with this tutorial. So first thing we're going to want to do is actually remove this plate here. And to do that, we're going to just need a regular Phillips screwdriver. Right, so I would suggest uh, le you know using a plate of some kind and leaving your screws in here so you don't lose them. So once you get that uh, screw out, what you're going to want to do is push in on the gear part right here that you use to wind up your mags, and then slide off the plate. Once the plate is off, you can continue pushing inside of the mag, which has this part coming out. All you do is just gently pull that out. So now we got the entire magazine chamber in here. Uh, this is just the magazine shell. So now um, what we got to do is remove a small little screw right here. A regular Phillips screwdriver will not fit in there, so you're better off using a very small Phillips screwdriver. We're only going to be removing this screw. Now keep in mind, once this screw is removed, we're going to have to pry this thing apart a little bit to get that nub out. When you pry this apart, be very careful that none of the gears in here don't come undone. Now this, it, I, I never had an issue with this, but it's something that if, you know, if any of the gears come loose or anything, it might be just impossible to get them back inside. So just be careful not to pry this part too much so you don't end up losing a lot of gears. So we're just removing the screw right here. Right, once we got that screw removed, we're able to pry this apart a little bit and just make sure that nub comes out just like that. Here's that nub. It has a little spring on it. All you have to do is just discard that. And now all we have to do is put the magazine back together. So with your smaller screw, make sure the screw is nice and snug on there. Make sure it's not too tight. And now what we're going to do is slide the lip back onto this bottom part of the magazine. And then we're going to slide the magazine chamber inside the magazine shell. Just like that. And then we're just going to put the screw back in here. And there we go. Now your magazine should work inside your AUG. I would just make sure, test it out, 
before you just assume. Um, this has worked for me. I used to have really bad feeding issues with my AUG. I used to have to always push forward on the magazine in order to actually fire it. But removing this little nub right here uh, has really helped out a lot. Now keep in mind you can only use high caps again. Um, but other than that, it should not be a problem to you anymore. There's no need to put tape on the back of this or anything that makes it harder to cram the magazine back up. All you have to do is just remove this little nub. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you have any sort of issues or problems or just any questions you would like to have answered, uh, feel free to comment down below. I will answer to them the best of my ability. So, thank you, thanks again for watching, and as always, have a nice day.